Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we will be visiting Antelope Canyon, Horseshoe Bend, and the Grand Staircase. First, we are going to Antelope Canyon. Antelope Canyon is a slot canyon in Arizona, including six scenic slot locations on the Navajo Reservation, referred to as Upper Antelope Canyon, Rattlesnake Canyon, Owl Canyon, Mountain Sheep Canyon, and Lower Antelope Canyon. We will be going to the Upper Antelope Canyon today. Antelope Canyon is named after the pronghorn antelopes that once roamed the area. The canyon itself is at nearly 120 million years old and is about 120 feet deep. This entire area was formed by the erosion of Navajo sandstone from flash flooding and other subaerial processes. You can see just how smooth the canyon walls are. It's almost as if they are man-made. Because Antelope Canyon gets a ton of sunlight, it results in the types of pictures you see here. Because of the intense erosion, the rocks in the area look almost abstract, with smooth, curvy patterns of rock forming a maze within the canyon. One such rock formation is the Lincoln Rock, a rock formation shaped like Abraham Lincoln's face. Antelope Canyon is unique from other slot canyons as it is the most photographed in the world due to its glorious light beams. The Navajo population consider Antelope Canyon as a symbol of the gifts of nature and the passage of time. It is best to visit during the afternoon or when it's sunny as there will be more light in the canyon. It's worth noting that the desert ecosystem Antelope Canyon is in spans approximately 2200 square miles. The valley comprises the western tip of the Mojave Desert and opens up to Victor Valley and the Great Basin to the east. Following Antelope Canyon, we then went to Horseshoe Bend. Horseshoe Bend is a horseshoe-shaped incised meander of the Colorado River in Page, Arizona. It is considered to be part of the east rim of the Grand Canyon. Around 5 million years ago, when the Colorado River Plateau uplifted, the trapped rivers in their riverbeds cut through the uplifted layers of sandstone. What, one such example of this is Horseshoe Bend, which cuts about a thousand feet deep, with a 270 degree angle forming the horseshoe shape, and is known for rafting in the river and hiking around it. The scenic view is extremely beautiful with orange stones and the unique twists of the river, along with the light vegetation adding contrast to the location.
While driving back to our hotel, we stopped alongside the Grand Staircase Monument to take a look at it. It's a sequence of sedimentary rock layers that stretch from Zion National Park to Grand Canyon National Park. It is called a staircase because the five steps that make the monument up are cliffs. The entire area is barren with sand and stone with little to no vegetation. The monument is mainly known for its good trails for biking and hiking. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.